When it comes to fun open top cars, fewer fit the bill better than the MX-5. It's got a pedigree dating back to 1989 and a cult following all over the world. It's got a reputation for delivering sports car thrills for a very un-sports car-like price. This fourth generation MX-5 really is in a class of its own. Its only real competition is Fiat's 124 and that's even based on the Mazda. And although the Toyota GT86 is similar in terms of fun and affordability, it misses out on the MX-5's convertible roof. So is the Mazda MX-5 the perfect convertible package then? In this review, we'll find out and we'll tell you what it's like to drive, how easy it is to live with and how comfortable it is. And if after that you fancy driving and owning one, head to whatcar.com because we might be able to save you thousands. Go to our new car deals section. But first, we'll take it for a drive. Simplicity is the name of the game here because there are only two engines to choose from. The entry level option is a 1.5 litre petrol which needs to be worked hard for it to perform at its best. But it doesn't feel slow. Our pick though is the more powerful 2 litre petrol fitted to this car. It's thrilling without being frightening on tight country roads and the extra punch makes overtaking just that little bit more effective. Plus, it's fitted with a clever limited differential, which means you can accelerate out of corners without skidding. Both engines are teamed up to a six-speed manual gearbox, which is a delight to use. When the roof is up, there's an acceptable amount of noise for a roadster like this. And even when the roof is down, things don't get too blustery. On the downside, there's some vibrations through the steering wheel and pedals when the engine is at very low or very high revs. The MX-5 has soft suspension, meaning it's a comfortable car over most roads. It copes easily with bumps and ruts, and even on larger alloy wheels, it's never uncomfortable. Where this car shines, though, is with its handling. It feels nimble and quick to change direction with accurate and well-weighted steering that makes you feel involved. That soft suspension means the car can lean a little into the corners, but it's a small price to pay. You sit quite low in the Mazda MX-5, which seems to be in keeping with its sporty remit. And there's enough adjustment in the seat to get comfortable. And although the steering wheel only adjusts for up and down and not reach, you should be able to find the right driving position, unless you're really tall and then you might find it a bit tricky. There's a good view out the front of the MX-5, but when the roof is up, visibility out the back is quite poor and you only get parking sensors as standard on top of the range Sport Nav models. That said, you can drop the roof very quickly and get a better view of your surroundings, providing of course that it's not raining. Things aren't exactly plush in here, but it does have more luxury touches than previous models and range-topping ones even get leather seats. Base models get a CD player and radio with two USB inputs and for that reason alone we'd recommend upgrading to an SEL nav version because then you'll get a 7 inch colour touchscreen with sat nav, Bluetooth connectivity and DAB radio. The system is really easy to use both through the touchscreen and also via this rotary controller on the centre console. The only irritation is that even if you turn off voice guidance the speakers will still dim when they would be in an which is a bit odd. Space and practicality is admittedly where the MX-5 falls slightly short. The best way to describe this interior is snug because you will be sitting in close proximity with the person next to you and taller drivers may find it a little too cramped. And when it comes to storage, there's no door bins and really you've just got a very small storage space here and a little stowage there. There aren't any rear seats, so you won't be taking any rear passengers and you'll struggle to fit any more than a jumper in between your seat and here. But there is another tiny amount of storage. And when it comes to the boot, it's the same amount of space whether the roof is up or down, which isn't a huge amount as you would expect. However, it is enough for two weekend bags. 
The MX-5's affordable price tag mean very few can match it in terms of attainable driving fun, and that carries over if you're buying it on a PCP deal too. And with both of the petrol engines being fairly efficient, it means running costs are pretty competitive as well. Entry-level SE models come with air conditioning, LED headlights and two USB connections. But we think that upgrading to SE L nav trim is a wise move because this gets you the 7-inch infotainment screen, sat-nav and an upgraded stereo. Team it with our recommended 2-litre engine and you'll also get 17-inch alloy wheels. The MX-5 gets a 4-star rating in the Euro NCAP crash tests four airbags and a bonnet that pops up in an accident to minimise injury to pedestrians. The Mazda MX-5 is a terrific two-seater that's affordable to buy and own. In fact, it's one of our favourite convertibles. For plenty more on the Mazda MX-5, including our full online review, head to whatcar.com. And if you fancy buying one, we can help save you thousands. Head to our new car deals section and the link is below in the description box. But before you go anywhere, hit subscribe and never miss another video.